Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Mercedes are expecting better pace at the next race in Saudi Arabia, while Red Bull have spoken about how they built a very quick car this year despite their penalty. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Red Bull, where team boss Christian Horner has spoken about how the team produced such a quick car despite their wind tunnel penalty. As we know the team dominated the opening rounds in Bahrain, and it comes despite the team having a 10% reduction in its allocated wind tunnel and CFD time as a result of overspending in the 2021 season. Now the team did say over the winter that the sanction would be a big handicap, but their car this year is even more dominant than last year's car. Speaking about how Red Bull overcame the penalty, Horner told Autosport, I think it focuses everybody's minds, and it drives efficiency. What we lost in wind tunnel time we gained in motivation. Now for me it's crazy to think how far Red Bull could be ahead without that penalty. So there's no doubt they've done a great job this year, but a team far behind right now are rivals Ferrari, who seem to be having their own internal crisis right now. I mean, Charles Leclerc has reportedly written to Ferrari Chiefs for a meeting over what he feels is unacceptable performance, while new team boss Frederick Vasseur is apparently fed up, with it being claimed that Vasseur is struggling for influence just months after replacing Mattia Binotto. And now it looks like the former Ferrari head of vehicle concepts David Sanchez is set to join rivals McLaren later in 2023. Sanchez recently resigned from his role, and according to Racing News 365, the engineer is set to join McLaren after a long period of gardening leave. Now as I say, Ferrari seems to be having an internal nightmare right now, and for me I'm not sure how they can fight for the title this year. Not only could their internal issues be a distraction, but the performance just isn't there right now. I mean the team had focus on trading corner performance off for straight line speed over the winter, but were beaten by Red Bull in qualifying, and were nowhere near the pace of the RB19 in the race. The team say it was to do with setup, but given how much tie wear the team has, I'm not sure what Ferrari do from here. And honestly, with everything going on, I can't see 2023 being that successful for them right now. But let's move on to Mercedes, who seem a bit optimistic about having stronger pace at the upcoming race in Saudi Arabia than what they had in Bahrain. The team were fourth quickest at that race, with team boss Toto Wolff even going on to admit the concept doesn't work, and a new one is being trialled in the wind tunnel. But despite this, Wolf does believe the team can be more competitive in Jeddah. This is because the Bahrain track surface is more rear limiting, meaning the track is slightly harder on the rear tyres, leading to increased tyre wear and degradation. But with Jeddah being more of a smooth and fast flowing track, it's known as a front limited circuit, whereby the front tyres take most of the punishment. Mercedes have been better at these types of circuits in the past, and Wolf is hopeful of better performance. He was quoted by Racing News 365 as saying, Bahrain is very rear limited, it has a very abrasive asphalt, and that's probably the weakest point in our car. If you look at it from that perspective, maybe it gets better in Saudi. I certainly think that when it comes down to front limited tracks, we'll have much better pace. Now Mercedes is also expected to bring a few new parts for Jeddah that the team hope will be a step forward in the right direction, so that could also help the team. But do you think they'll find pace in Saudi Arabia? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.